These are the USD Shadow. They cost around $250 boot only. These are the re-released version of the original Shadow from the early 2000s. They feature a large sole and negative area and are adjustable to fit all different foot lengths. What makes the Shadow unique is the innovative boot system. Similar to a snowboard binding, the liner is attached to the skate with multiple buckles and straps. This allows you to walk around like normal shoes when you're done with your session. I took them to my local skate park to see how they feel. So these are the size 10 uh, Eclipse liners in the medium I think it's the medium shell. They feel good. Uh, so my foot is 28.5 centimeters and uh, I can wiggle my toes. Um, so I don't have any issues wearing this, this liner, shoe, whatever you want to call it. The width is fine as well. And uh, the fact that I can adjust it with the buckles makes me feel um, a little more in control. Like I use the Velcro strap in the front I want a little bit more tightness in the toe. Um, I'm not getting much in the way of heel raise or anything like that. Honestly, these feel like regular boots. Um, I mean, just like an Aeon, just like a, 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 a New Jack, just like a, a V13 or whatever, um, until I look down. And then it's just this weird, like straps and buckles and laces and things. Um, but if I don't look down, um, they feel like regular skates. I did a few airs. The shock absorber feels fine. I don't think there's a huge shock absorber. I think that the built-in shock absorber that you get with the walkable liner uh, and the sole of the walkable liner is all that you're gonna get. Um, it does ship with an additional, uh, like a wedge sort of, sort of shock absorber. I don't know if that's more of a sizing thing or a comfort thing, but it isn't in this setup and I feel like I don't need it, so. Um, I'm not too worried about that. I think that you'll be fine if you're skating these uh, just as is without any additional shock absorber. All right, no issues with Soul Tricks. Um, I wasn't too surprised, to be honest. These soles are huge and uh, they're kind of angled out so you get a little less resistance. Um, they feel really good though. Just a little big. Like, I don't feel clunky or anything, but I feel almost like cheating. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just too wide. Like, how can you miss? You know, if I missed a sole, I would hate myself because like, come on, like the sole's so big, why, how could I miss? I don't know that that's a problem, but it's just an observation. Wow, I mean, Royales were easy. <laughs> you know, I've struggled on a lot of different skates. Um, struggled on the Aeon 72s, struggled on the K2 Front Street. I mean, Royales have been a battle for a long time. And granted, I'm probably better at Royales now, but the mix of uh, these shadows with some balance frames and juice blocks, I mean, I'm not, I'm not even thinking about Royale. I just jump on, slide. Back Royale too, no problems. The, um, the run up is a bit tighter on the right side, so it's harder to get speed. Um, and I end up jumping on like halfway, which doesn't give me enough time to really get set. But I feel like if this ledge was longer and if the run up were better, I wouldn't have any problems here. I am getting a weird, like when you're doing Royale tricks, you know, you put a lot of pressure on your lateral pressure, I guess it's called left and right. I am getting a lot of movement there that I'm not super used to. Um, you know, I usually skate the Vem 908. That's the skate that I found fits me the best. And that thing locks me in really clean. I have no issues there. This, yeah, I'm getting some movement. 
Um, it might be a breaking thing. It might be me just getting used to how to tighten it, what buckles to tighten and such, but I'm definitely feeling it. Wow, I mean, I've been practicing top acid, but those are the best top acids I've ever done. This bigger sole in this lower frame really helps. It's a luck of top acid without having to get too tall. Kind grind still struggling. Um, it's a harder trick, you know? I gotta spin. With uh, top acid, all I have to worry about is lifting up my feet. Kind grind, I gotta spin, and as you saw, you know, the time that I tried a little more of an abrupt angle, it wiped out a little bit, but I'm getting it. After my first session, I decided to test the walkable liners. They felt a little weird to walk in, but nobody noticed I wasn't wearing normal shoes. Over the next month, I tried the skates with different setups. I really enjoyed grinding with them. But big wheel setups felt unstable. Yeah. The USD Shadow are an interesting skate. Most of the appeal of the old shadows were that you could bring your own shoes. So you could always find a fit that was right for you. Now that USD is requiring a high top liner, you don't have as many options for shoes that you can wear with the skates. I really enjoyed using them for aggressive, but as soon as I switched to a big wheel setup, I started feeling really unstable. They were a lot of fun for grinds and they have a huge sole and a huge negative. So if that's something that you're interested in, you might wanna take a look. But there are plenty of other skates out there for less money that might offer the same experience.